Hey guys, and welcome back to ASTV. I'm Mahith Gamaj. I'm joined by Rochelle Jedikevic, uh, who is the programs manager here at Manitoba Soccer Association. Rochelle, what's your job exactly? What, what's, what, what sort of are you in control of here? So uh, my main roles here are uh, events, um, as well as I do all the social media and communications, as well as the advertising and marketing for the association. Um, so I understand that you guys have a, a girls festival coming up next week. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, so something really exciting we have coming up on February the 8th uh, is a girls grassroots festival. So it is a festival that's open to uh, 9 to 12 year old girls in the province. It's a free festival. Um, it'll be taking place right here at this complex here. Um, and it's going to coincide with National Girls and Women in Sport Day, which is really exciting. Um, so it's going to be an hour and a half festival. Um, it's going to be run completely by female coaches and volunteers um, and it's just going to give girls an opportunity to get out and play the sport that they love with other females and see strong female role models and coaches um, running the festival itself and it's just going to be a really fun event. Speaking of uh, strong female role models, uh, Christine Sinclair broke the record for most international goals scored by anybody, man or woman, uh, yesterday I believe, um, 185 goals and 290 caps, something like that. Is she somebody that maybe you looked up to or, or maybe your friends or, or people you coach or, or control look up to? Yeah, definitely. I still look up to her. I, I'm a player uh, still myself, and she is an incredible role model for all females as well as males, I think, in Canada and the world. Um, growing up, I didn't have very many female soccer role models to look up to. I didn't have very many female soccer coaches. Um, so to have someone as prolific as her um, and someone to have that title as a Canadian, I think is amazing and really, really important for the next generation to see. Yeah, I usually think of like a like an English person or Italian, Brazilian with that, but Christine obviously is a legend. Um, just going to uh, obviously other legends, uh, Manitoba Soccer Hall of Fame. You were in con sort of in control of uh, building that space at uh, the I believe the Leela Complex up north, and um, you're also on the selection committee for um, this year's inductees, which will happen at, in February at the United of Excellence. Um, sort of, what's the process of of sort of getting these people in and, and selecting which ones get inducted? Yeah, so the Manitoba Soccer Hall of Fame is something that's kind of been in the works for a while now. Um, and we just unveiled the space, like you said, at the end of October at the North Complex on Leela, um, which is really exciting to have something to showcase that because there are so many prolific people in the province who have helped build and grow the game. Um, so the process for that is, uh, is it's a nomination process. So anyone who has been really important in building the game or growing the game as a player, as a team, as a builder, a coach, um, they can be nominated uh, through our website. Um, and then it goes to our nominations committee. Um, and then they will be selected. Um, and the nominations will be announced at our Night of Excellence at the end of the month. Um, and from there, they'll be inducted into the actual physical space um, in the fall. Awesome. So you guys can go check out that space uh, at the Leela Complex up north. Uh, this is Rochelle Jedikevich, um, Programs Manager at Manitoba Soccer Association. I'm Mahith Kamaj. Thanks for watching, guys, on ASTV.